just a quick update on this uh, newer computer board that I've built recently. Um, I found a few, several mistakes even before I've even got the boards in on my schematic that uh, I knew was going to be a problem. I had already fixed those, but then as I started testing it, I started to get this weird issue where the processor would just almost instantaneously go into a, a halt state for no apparent reason. And from my understanding, what I thought was the halt state was only supposed to ever be entered if the uh, processor received that instruction. Well, come to find out, just through my personal experience here and looking at the signaling on the, the scope here, um, the processor, if it receives a certain amount of gibberish data or no ops, it seems to go into a uh, halt state on its own probably to prevent damage or to conserve power or something like that. Uh, I haven't found any documentation for that, but we'll, uh, I'll, I'll exp I might experiment more with that later on, just hooking a processor up without anything else but a clock hooked up to it. And maybe pull up, pull, pull, pull up and pull down resistors here and there. Anyhow, I found out that this resistor diode logic I had here for uh, part of my data, buff, data buffer here. That was to control that, to turn it on and off, and to inhibit it whenever there is a direct memory access. Well, found out that I really don't need all of that. In fact, the only thing I need is this jumper right here that I'm putting my finger on. Those two resistors aren't even being used anymore. And as for the diodes, uh, I just completely removed them and then shorted this one all the way over, which is the... Uh, hold acknowledge pin and whenever that goes high it inhibits this and as for this chip the only thing that's controlling it now is the uh, read pin from the microprocessor which controls its direction so anytime any other time the read is high it's a side to b side i think which is processor to memory so when read is low which means it's active it's reading from the memory or input output and it's b to A, which is bus to processor. Uh, another problem I found was something that's kind of lightly mentioned in the data sheet of this microprocessor. Something I didn't see beforehand or didn't remember from back whenever I designed this one, the King. And um, it's the address latch enable pin. It's not a, it's, it's a, uh, it's active on the falling edge rather than the rising edge, which is the opposite of what this chip here, which is the uh, lower address latch right here. And uh, it seems as though I've gotten that mixed up too, so I just put that through a 7404 uh, inverter, which I already have on this board, and hooked it up to this chip. And now the chip, now the computer seems to be running code, but my input output doesn't seem to be working now. It's not switching banks, which I can tell on the back here with the this LED I've soldered in place. Uh, my battery is about to go dead, so I'm going to try to show this before the uh, battery goes dead. Uh, I got the processor to run code, and the only reason I know that is because I'm getting some kind of data output on my uh, serial output. So. We'll see if I can uh, unplug it, plug it back in. It's actually plugged in this whole time. So there's a low, and then plug it in. And there's our data. Where's my... Okay, that was too fast. Now, for some reason, it's just sending a continuous square wave output afterwards. It's not supposed to do that. But there's the data. That's the serial output of the uh, terminal. And uh, it's now it's just sending some character out, probably because I didn't put any pull-up or pull-down resistors on the serial input-output. It's my mistake again, but, you know, it's just an experimental board. Anyways, yeah, just a quick update. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.